to something. I can feel it. Captain Kenway? What is the assassin, Duncan Walpole? Dead and buried. After he tried to kill me. We are not sorry to see him gone. But it was you who carried out his final betrayal. Why? Money was my only aim. Should I find comfort in that? You murdered our brothers and sisters in Havana. He has the sense, mentor. James tells me you treated with the Templars there. Did you see the man they called the Sage? Aye. Would you recognize his face if you saw it again? I reckon so. I must be certain. Not a word. Come on. Quiet. The statue in the temple. Was that the man you saw in Havana? Spitting likeness, aye. It seems another sage has been found. The race for the observatory begins anew. Is that why we're whispering? This is your doing, Captain Kenway. The maps you sold to the Templars have led them straight to us. And now the agents of two empires know exactly where we operate. Leave this to me, Mentor. They have taken Edward's crew as well. I wonder what their lives are worth to him. Take this. You'll attract no attention, and take fewer lives. Who's out there? See that mangy old codger? He's a Dutch slaver called Lorenz Prinz, living now like a king in Jamaica. Bastard's been a target for years. Bloody hell, we nearly had him. By God, you bravos are a cheery bunch, eh? All frowns and furrowed brows. Captain Kenway, you have remarkable skills. Oh, thanks, mate. It comes natural. But you're churlish and arrogant, prancing around in a uniform that you have not earned. Everything is permitted. Isn't that your motto? I absolve you of your errors in Havana and elsewhere. But you are not welcome here. Sorry, mate. Wish it were otherwise. What's your name? Billock? Ken Moore? Conway? It's Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumor going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Well, whatever his name, gotta make sure he suffers without dying. Orders from the governor. And back to the prisons at sundown. And massage his feet if he's aching, shall I? Jesus. A shit detail as ever was. Can't they kill the bastard? Ain't been a good hanging for months, not since Reckham got his. Hey, hard to understand how it works. I've heard it said. They scooped up Captain Vane near a year ago. And he's not seen the end of the road. I can't fathom it. Some men, they stretch after days of capture. Others, they sit on. <laughs> Oi! You stop that! Good morning, Captain Kenway. I have a gift for you. Do not mistake my purpose here. I have come for Anne and Mary, and you owe me nothing for this. But if you would lend me your aid, I can promise you safe passage from this place. I'll need weapons. You are comfortable with this, I am told. We must hurry. What's happened to Mary? What's wrong? Is she gone?
What will you do now? Nothing sensible. You haven't earned this, but... They suit you. Good fortune to you, Edward Kenway. Jesus, Addy, what the hell happened here? You happened here, Edward. The damage you caused six years ago has not been undone. I'm not an easy man to call a friend, am I? Is that why you're here? To fight beside a man so driven by personal gain and glory is a hard thing, Edward. And I have come to feel the assassins and their creed a more honorable course. Have I been unfair? No. For years, I've been rushing around, taking whatever I fancied, not giving a tinker's curse for those I hurt. And yet here I am, with riches and a reputation, feeling no wiser than when I left home. Yet when I turn around, look at the course I've run, there's not a man or woman that I love left standing beside me. There is time to make amends, Captain Kim. Mary. Before she died, she asked me to do good by her, to sort out the mess I made. Can you help me? Mary was fond of you, Edward. She saw something in you bearing that gave her hope you might one day fight with us. Aye. She told me. And what do you think of our creed? It's hard to say. For if nothing is true, then why believe anything? And if everything is permitted, why not chase every desire? Why indeed? It might be that this idea is only the beginning of wisdom, not its final form. That's quite a step up from the Edor I met here many years ago. So what do you think? It'll take some getting used to. The second attack this month, I should have moved this village long ago. I brought all this upon you years ago, but I will stand by you now. It will take more than a few favors to call yourself a true assassin, Edward. One thing at a time, mate. And once more you have our thanks, Edward. You are welcome here. Thank you, sir. I'll rest here for a time before setting out, if I may. How's her child? She is a strong woman, but not invincible. I know my targets by sight well enough. But how will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our viewers and the assassins there will guide you. That fixes Torres and Rogers. But Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. It might take months to find him. Or years. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, do not be afraid to call on your quartermaster for him. Quartermaster, what's our present course? Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bond. Call it out. Weigh anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica. Torres awakened something fierce. Are we safe? With the device returned, I believe so. What do you call this place? 
Captain Kenway's folly. It's a wall to sue to kill her. Cap winning. We will seal this place and discard the key. Until another sage appears, this door will remain locked. There were files when I came here last. Filled with the blood of ancient men, Robert said, but they're gone now. Then it's up to us to recover them, before the Templars catch wind of this. You could join us in that cause. I will, but only after I fix what I mangled back home. It arrived last week. Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us. But our goal must be to scatter our operations. To live and work among the people we protect, just as Altairi Ben Lahad once counseled. Well, until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. You have my word. <laughs> 